Filming this and adding it to the beginning of the video, just for anybody that placed an order over the past couple of days on LoneFox.com, as you guys know, the fall collection came out and there were an immense amount of orders. But the other day there was a huge, huge storm that rolled through where my parents lived. It knocked down over 50 power lines and they haven't had power in two days now. So I just wanted to let you guys know that power should be back today at their house. But um, if your orders are delayed about two or three days, I just wanted to preface that. They are getting them out, everything's being shipped, but it is going to take just a couple more days because of literally all the power is out. guys it is bright and early and i am not a morning person i really wish i was i will say that i love the idea of being a morning person i just i just can't get into it i don't know why but today i'm excited because i think we actually found the marble for the kitchen now i've only seen photos of it so i'm actually heading shortly right now to go check it out in person it's about an hour away from my apartment so i just want to head over there this morning get some photos of it see it in person bring you guys along and then we can see if it is a good option for the space <laughs> i have my little night light going as well because i had a salt lamp here before if you guys remember and i dropped it and broke it so i had this little temporary salt lamp nightlight but she does the job for the time being <laughs> we are starting off this morning at caesar stone lab we have omar here he is is that agate yeah, yeah. so these are translucent if you put a light behind it oh wow that's so cool yeah is, that that's a big crystal slab so this is also oh slab. this is so pretty whatever this is wait uh, what does that look like it, you can see the top right here it's like a like a Tiffany green. Oh, wow. Brown. It's literally a giant crystal quartz. I know. You know the ones that they have like at those healing places? Yeah. It's a giant slab. This is nice. This is a blue calcite. That's the actual color of the stone. It's like sky It's like blue. a sky blue, yeah. That's the name, sky blue. Wow. <laughs> These are quartzites. This is Calicata Panazzo. This is... I love that. I love Calicutta Panazzo. See, I love gold. this. The gold is amazing. The gold is so good. Know, look at this Monet marble. Look how pretty the colors are. There's like this rusty color, the olive green. There's like the creamy taupe. This is almost like, looks like um, viola. Like, like viola. Yeah, but that's so cool because it, it's almost like a Monet they're mixed from with the same a quarry. Yeah. So they all get mined from the same quarry, different part of the mountains. I just love all the color variation in this one. Oh, this one's so pretty. It's so much better in person. The picture don't yeah, do it justice like you guys look at the like dark green color i love how it looks like there's almost multiple slabs in once but it still is like consistent like look at all those colors and then this is currently polished so once it's honed which is more of a matte finish it'll be just like a little bit softer and like almost richer at the same time a little assistant. look at this little baby oh my gosh you guys i love french bulldogs baby say hi baby uh, he looks like marble. Yeah. <laughs> Granite. Marble. He's so cute. Made it back over to the house this morning, and I am so excited that we picked out a marble, you guys. Like, I actually went through. I'm paying the invoice today. It is a hefty purchase, but I am so excited to have it in the kitchen. I just cannot wait till we can start mapping it out. Next week, I'm actually going to be heading back to the stone yard, and we're going to be able to map out the actual cuts, which, of course, I'll bring you guys along for that. But today, I want to go through and I was reading a bunch of your guys' comments from my last video and a lot of people were saying that they do think the window trim is original, which is great and I also think it is original and a lot of people were saying that they believe it's either oak or like a Douglas fir trim. Now what I'm going to start doing today is actually applying a second coat of the citrus strip on the trim and I'm going to leave it for probably about two hours or so and then see if we can get more of the varnish off because currently it still has like quite a bit of the varnish and little specks of the old paint still and while that's on there I'm actually going to start priming this back wall here so this one that's right behind me so that we can test our new paint color. So I definitely am dabbling in a few different things today but I think we are going to be able to make some good progress so let's get started. This is what the current state of the windows is looking like, so I knew adding that second coat hopefully would get off that darker stain and also all of that extra paint that's still kind of stuck on there. up this today a new little tool for my toolkit this is a expandable roller so essentially you can put like a paint roller in here it goes up to 18 inches and it also has a long handle so I've basically seen people on TikTok 
priming and painting like their entire wall with like a couple of swipes and i was like i'm gonna do that too so i picked this up at lowe's let's see how it works looks like you open up these and then they probably oh they do expand out wow this is about 18 inches so a lot wider than your traditional paint roller and then you just pop the roller right in and then we're gonna clamp it closed and look at our large roller like that's gonna provide ample coverage. Let's give this a go, guys. Let's see how this works. We're dipping in. This seems pretty nice so far. And now let's go on the wall. Ooh, look at that coverage. I've already painted like 20% of the wall. But I will say that I thought this would be really heavy once it was full of paint and you had to hold like the stick with the entire roller, but it's actually really, really light. So that's nice. While that paint is over there drying, I figured we can go ahead and maybe start checking the citrus strip area that we did. Oh, and it's coming up! The stain's coming off! So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is get a bulk of the citrus strip and the stain off with the scraper and then go in with the steel wool after. Like, as you can see, there's so much here, it's gonna like clog up the steel wool. So I'm gonna remove the bulk of it with the scraper and then go back and try to steal wool away the extra. Just kidding, guys. Go straight in with the steel wool. Oh my gosh, it takes everything off. Oh my gosh. I think I actually got the wood trim all the way down. What do you guys think? I have no idea what wood that is. So if you guys happen to know, totally let me know in the comment section below. But I'm going to finish steel wooling, I guess, this trim here. And that actually was pretty simple. The wood of those new stained glass doors I got on the left side is exactly the shade that I want to emulate on the window trim because it really matches the ceiling perfectly. So kind of like a dark chocolatey color. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I am so excited. I'm so, so excited right now. I will say though, do not scrub the steel wool over the paint because it's gonna smear it into the wood. Scrape off the old paint first and then steel wool over the top. Lime wash is scary. So this is the color swatch on the front. As you can see, look how dark it is in the can. It's so crazy how dark it goes and then it lightens so much. For the first coat of this color, I just did the basic kind of crosshatch technique where you create X's with the color over top. And as you can see, as it's drying down, it really does tremendously go lighter, which is very, it's a trust the process kind of a thing. So I went through and I painted the first coat on the entire wall, also the underside of the arch, because I wanted it to feel like one fluid wall, if that makes sense. And I also painted that built in on the right side, of course. Now what I'm doing next is going in with a cloud painting technique. And I actually did some research on YouTube and found out about this, and I wish I would have reversed it. I I wish I would have done this first and then did the entire just crosshatch over the top to kind of soften what I did here. But when you cloud paint on lime wash, essentially what you're doing is creating like a custom stained look. So wherever you apply these, you're gonna get darker color, of course. So I'm actually letting them dry down for about, I'd say 20 minutes or so, and then going back in and filling in all of the areas that I didn't paint previously. And this is just going to give you more of a textural look. And as this time lapse kind of dries down, you can see what I'm talking about.
Good morning. Uh, guys, in Los Angeles lately, it has been so hot out. It has been like almost 105 degrees every day for the past week. I don't know what's happening here, but it's feeling like my parents' house in Arizona at the moment. I saw that Target has her new fall stuff, and I thought it would be fun to go look at it and maybe get just a couple of pieces for the apartment. I still am living here for a little bit longer, so you know, I thought might as well add like a couple fall pillows, maybe like a couple pieces of decor. Fall's my favorite season. I cannot skip on it, you guys. Like, what? I feel like Studio McGee always kills it with that collection. But I also have something extremely, extremely exciting that I am finally able to share with you guys. Let me just take a take a quick seat. Um, this has been something that has been in the works for a little bit now, and I've just been waiting for the green light to where I can announce, you know, the submissions for this because it is a giveaway, and it is a rather large giveaway. So I actually got an email from YouTube, of all people, asking if I wanted to work on a project together, and the project was an entire entire home makeover for a Lone Fox family member. And when I saw this opportunity, I was like, absolutely what I love to work on this, you guys. And we are finally taking submissions for this project. And I will say that the one main criteria piece is that you do have to live in California. And that is because this is my first ever like project that I'm actually working on, like outside of my own houses or friends places. As you guys know, on my channel for the past couple years, I've really focused on my own house and own spaces and just a lot of like helpful tips and tricks to help you guys out with yours. And this is my first ever project I'm taking on that's more so for a client in a sense, but the client is just getting an entire fully funded home makeover, which we absolutely love. I couldn't be more excited about this. And when I saw it, I was like, we're we're gonna take a little bit of time away from my own house to work on this amazing project because the holidays is all about giving back. And I am so, so, so excited to work on this for one of you guys. So submissions are open. I actually have a page over on my site. I'll put the link at the top of the description box below that has all of the detail, all of the criteria on how to enter. So if you do wanna enter your home into the loan Fox family home makeover for the holidays. Please follow the link in the description box below and make sure to submit your space by September 14th. That is a cutoff day. So make sure to mark your calendars because September 14th, like it is cut off that day and the person is going to be selected shortly after, which is so exciting. The Lone Fox family member. Uh, it is just crazy to think that Lone Fox has turned into something like this, that we could do such fun and work on such fun projects. Like even my house, this incredible giveaway with YouTube, like Oh my gosh, absolutely absurd. But let's head to Target, guys. I came to the new house just to see the wall, which I'm looking at right now before heading to Target. And you guys, I'm on FaceTime with my mom. Mom, look. Let me see, I wanna see what it looks like. Wow, I like that. Do you like that? I like it that it's the, it looks textury. Like yeah. Uh-huh, like, like Marie's. The camera. How beautiful is that color? I am so happy with this. I love it so much. Now at the bottom for some reason on camera, it's coming off or like pulling a little cool toned. In person, doesn't look like that at all. I don't know what is happening on my camera at the moment. Look how pretty though, you guys. All of our texture is showing through. Maybe you'll be able to get like an actual glimpse of the color here a bit more. It's almost like a taupey brownish, gray. It definitely does have a gray tone to it as well, but it's so pretty. I love, love, love it. Another reason why I selected this color is because we are also going to have these glass doors here, which are gonna add warmth through the doors. When I actually put them up, there's quite a bit of warmth that actually kind of shines through. It's like a glow. And so it makes this wall look like the perfect taupe shade. It's almost like I had to find the color that once the doors were added was gonna shift to the color I wanted, if that makes sense. And and this one just seems to be perfect, so I'm really happy with this. Look how exciting! They have a really cute little setup. These throws are so cute. I love them. I love the different uh, like sizes of the yarn, so it looks like it's woven with different thicknesses. I love, love, love that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think this might be my favorite throw blanket Target's ever done, actually. They even have a little lumbar. I love this for some reason. It looks so expensive. It's only $20. Also really cute. I've been really into plaid lately. Oh my gosh, it's a pumpkin. grab some of these too. 
love this seated glass vase. I actually have this as well. It's in Marie's bathroom. If your guys' Target still has these, they are the best vase for flowers. The small and the large, they're perfect size. They're really affordable, $15. I think the larger one's 25. It's beautiful with water in it and flowers. I highly recommend picking it up. It's so universal. Target actually has dried florals now too. I've known that they have had the artificial ones, but I've never uh, seen like real dried ones. This is a fully dried wreath. So beautiful. This looks like it might be a new, like a little martini table. Wait. Look at that, it's a great little table. Super simple, but I love the leg. It's like very angular and the marble's beautiful. This little mushroom vase filler. Good morning, everyone. I'm currently curling my hair. I thought you guys might find this interesting because I feel like no one knows that I have the most pin straight flat hair. That's what's always sticking out of the back of my hat and that's why I wear a hat all the time, guys, is because my hair looks like this on a daily basis. Like, look at that and look at that. I mean, they're both bad. I haven't really touched too much on the plumbing issues that have been happening at the house because they have just been aggravating me to be completely honest with you guys. Like, of course I've been filming the whole entire process, but the plumbing situation was just something that I honestly was like, I'm just gonna deal with this and not even film it. Like it was something that had too much back and forth. Basically what happened is when the inspection happened, everything was fine or so I guess we thought and then um, we had the inspections, they came back with the work that needed done from the inspections, and then after they came back to do that work, they basically found out that there was two major leaks happening in both top bathrooms, leaking into both bottom bathrooms. And keep in mind that both bottom bathrooms have all the original tiles still, and they literally come to me and they're like, oh, so we're gonna need to remove all the tile from the lower bathrooms so that we can access the pipes behind the wall. And I said, oh! No, you will not. You will not be doing that, sir. So basically I put it off for a little bit. I was like, I'm putting this off. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna think about other stuff. And so behind the scenes, I've been kind of dealing with it. So basically they tried to find a workaround and they had to do something called exploratory work where you pay hourly for them to explore the issue to try to like figure out a solution for it. And we basically ended up after paying multiple hours of exploratory work, um, they finally came to a conclusion of opening the back side of the walls of the bathroom. So originally they were gonna open up the front with the tile and have to remove the tile, but we actually found out that both back sides of the wall were accessible from inside. It's gonna add a little living proof full dry volume texture spray. Texture spray is my lifesaver, you guys. It's what makes my hair look good. So here's where we're at. You just add a little hairspray and shape it all. That is a signature Lone Fox home. Let me pop up a photo of this leak, you guys. Or it's not even a leak, it's a crack. This is what I was sent. Look at that crack. That is in the pipe. So they were like, yeah, there's a crack in the pipe. Like, And I was like, there's no way. They did inspections. There's a crack. There's definitely a crack in the pipe. So I'm gonna head over to the house right now, actually, and see kind of what status this plumbing issue's at and let you guys know what's up. Oh, so the pipe's over yeah, here. Yeah, so both of these. It goes all the way down to the bottom. Oh, wow. Cool. So before, those were the ones that had the two holes in it that you yeah. showed, the drilled holes? Yeah, the holes were like right here. Oh, okay, yeah. So then those are just replaced there. Yeah, because those are leading from all the way upstairs bathroom. Yeah, yeah. so one, this one is the drain and this one is a vent. Got it. So we, we are able to do everything from the- Yeah, the back the side of the wall, yeah. which was so great. So we're just gonna- we, this Oh, is you guys went pipe. right through here. Yeah, so- Oh, cool. We all the pipes gone already. What's that? Is that literally the pipe? That's the pipe, yeah. No, it's not. That's is it actually? Good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a knife. Wow. It's, kind of siren, it's yeah. like all corroded. Yeah, so the water just eats it up on the inside. Did you guys add this or? No, we cut that. You we, cut we, that. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna replace that too. Got it, got it. We'll be connecting here to the oh. plastic. Oh, okay. Um, they use black plastic, we use white. It's a little stronger. Mm -hmm. um, same thing. And then that just goes right down to where we just saw. And we connect here to this one. So we'll do a connection here like that. Oh, got it. Back at the apartment, it's a few hours later, and I realized I was actually just editing up this video or editing part of this video and realized I didn't do a little outro. So I just wanted to say bye to you guys and I will see you in the next one, of course. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys are also probably wondering how much the actual plumbing issue costed because it looks 
like a pricey situation and it definitely was I don't really know the exact price so far what I was quoted was 5500 but that could change and that doesn't also include any of the exploratory work so that is kind of like the rough estimate at the moment just to keep you guys in the loop this is the only issue that's been encountered so far since having the house but I also haven't moved in yet so we can only hope and pray that everything will be fine but you know what we're crossing our fingers I think everything else will be great once this plumbing's all done everything else has been inspected and then once the plumbing is finally finished essentially I haven't started refinishing the the floors yet which I think I'm gonna share with you guys in the next video kind of start talking about that because in case there was any water damage or anything that could have potentially happened while those pipes were broken or busted I did not want that happening of course with the floor so now that everything is being fixed we can kind of start thinking about the floors again and that's going to happen in my next one so I'll catch you guys in the next video bye